Hello everyone, this is Anupam. In this blog, we are going to install Apache using Ansible. This video is going to be a long video because it involves multiple steps. So if you just want to see the section where I'm installing the Apache using Ansible playbook, please go to the last section. In this video, we are going to follow the four steps. The first is the setting up our the target servers followed by we have to set a repo server because I don't want to use internet. I want my local repo servers to download the packages and then do the installation and other configurations. Creating our playbook and we are going to run. This is an overall design of my infrastructure. This is me where I'm setting. And these are the four servers. The first one is an Ansible server and created three tier servers. And I'm going to install in tier two my Apache server. Sorry, excuse me. In the target server, I'm going to do SSH copy ID if it's not there. If it's there, well and good, I'll just test that. Then we will set up the host name because host names are missing. It's just a fresh new server which I have built it with the following IP address which you have seen it here. And then we are going to create our Ansible server. Means I'm not going to create a new server which will act as an a repo server but I'm going to create my Ansible server as my repository server. So these are the following command where you need to like mount the CDs and then install the RPM for VSFTP so that the FTP will act as my location and then it's like update our YAM list and then add the firewall. This is the repo file which I'm going to create. I have given the name as rhel.repo so my base URL will be in ftp 192.168.0.109.pub okay we'll set up the target firewall if required we'll create lastly we are going to create uh, the playbook so our playbook uh, command is written already here so let's not waste our time and go ahead and do our lab let me take the terminal session Increase the size so that it will be visible to you all. SSH 192.168.0.109. Is it? Oh my bad. So let me do it like this. We are logged in. Now let's log into our each server. I mean to say, let's log into our tier one, tier two, and tier three server and check if everything looks good. First one is one zero eight. That is tier one. So I can see my this work is already done. I don't don't need to do my SSH copy ID, which is already showing that just to enter a passphrase. It's done. Now let's set up the hosting for this. host name and we should start with this name so I just logged into my tier one server right so I'll give tier one I'll fast forward my video and I'll set up all the host names in all my target servers. So our first job here is done, setting my target server. Now let's go and create a repo or should I create my host files? 
because my host file job is updated here later on okay we will update the host file later on let's go and create our repo server we will first of all mount our cd-rom mount slash tab slash cd-rom to slash empty okay now we'll go to cd and empty ls and see you can see all our file you can go to cd packages it's capital packages we'll do ls we can see all our packages here then we are going to install that uh, packages for VSFTP uh, because we want to create an FTP so that it will be accessible from everywhere we'll do RPM I IPH FTP I will install this so it's installed to check that what we are going to do is we'll go to rpm hyphen query slash var slash ftp slash pub so we can see our vsftp now next job is to let's log into our okay um, let me go to cd slash mnt now what our job is to whatever the files are here ls whatever the files are there we are going to copy the entire package to my target location which is my var ftp pub so we are going to do cp f T star to var FTP pop. Okay. Let's wait the entire file to get copied to my target location. Okay, so our copy has been done. Now let's go ahead and create our repo file. To do that, we'll go to cd slash etc slash yum dot repo dot d. We'll do ls and we are, let me do clear first of all, and do ls. We can see there are three files. I'm going to take a backup of this just for the namesake. mv star dot repo to backup ls okay so we have moved all the files now we are going to create our new own file for repo vi or dot r e p o we are going to give the name repo will give name make sure that you don't have any space here name is equal to rho repo base url ftp 192.168.1.1 one zero nine slash pub this is the location which we just copied our files all repositories enable enable is equal to one g p g check is equal to zero
Now once uh, we have created our repo file, let's cat and see once again. So this looks pretty okay. Uh, base URL is also updated to properly. Let's go ahead and do our further task. Let me clear this. Now we'll do yum clean all. Okay, so let's do yum list all. We can see it says fail to connect to 192.168.0.109. Connection refused. Why? Because we have not started our VSFTP services yet. So we'll do that. Services. VSF, VSFTP. Okay, it's starting. Let's run this and see now. Perfect. So we can see that now it's talking to my repos repository and it's getting all the information from there. So the last part of this, we have to make sure that we are updating our firewall. We don't miss out that part because this is uh, very important. Let me clear this. Firewall, CMD. Permanent zone is equal to P U V L I S public add service is equal to FTP success. Now we will reload. success. Now we can even go ahead and see list all. We can see our FTP is added to it. This means that our setup of Ansible server for repository has been done and this is what the repo file we have created. Now let's go ahead. I don't think so. I'm not going to do this. If it fails on the target server then only I'm going to add to the firewall. FTP. So let's go ahead and create our the first Ansible playbook for Apache. It's definitely the first one. Yeah, before going ahead, I need to do this job. I need to my, update my Ansible host. So CD, let me go to CD slash ATC slash Ansible LS cat host. So we can we can't see our other one. So vi host, okay. <coughs> I'm just adding it to the bottom. Tire, I'm going to use tire 02, right? So it's 192.168.0.103. Let's cross check it. So my tire tour is 103, right? I'm just going to update my tire to information later on. Maybe I can add the other one also. Now let's create our playbook. VI. Style APJ dot L. So we know that this is a YAML file. We have to make sure that our syntax is perfectly ready. There's no gap to it. So just to save myself, I am going to just copy my file. Okay, from here itself, my playbook. I don't want to rerun that again. But okay, let me do one thing. I will walk you through this. 
So what I'm doing is in the host I'm updating my tier 3 it is written I'll update to tier 2 using user if, root if you want to task so the first task is to copy my repo file my repo file is located in source slash etc yum repo rhel dot repo which we just created right now and the target will be again the same location slash etc yum repo repos dot d dot rhel dot repo the second job is going to be install httpd so in this we will uh, update as a state as installed then we are going to create so okay we don't have created we are not created any html file we'll create one html file and we are going to copy that html file from the i'm sorry ansible server to the target location which will be created once our http is installed and the last job is to start our apache services so before i go ahead let me create my first html file for that i need to go and create one so so the target location is roots file okay root file it's a file or a files it's a files okay now we'll go to cd root files now we are going to create an html file here index.html you can see here that i mentioned index.html I'm going to create a very basic one because I just want to do a quick, quick one. So, HTML, H1. This is the test for installing RJ using. Ansible. Okay. I'm sorry if there is something wrong in this syntax because I'm not that good, but still I'm trying to write something. Okay. Uh, let's again go back. CD slash etc slash Ansible. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to copy my playbook. So there should not be a syntax error, otherwise it will not execute. And this is going to be th02. Let's cat the playbook and see. Let me go ahead and remove this one extra too. Let me run and see if it executes properly. Otherwise, we need to check Ansible playbook, then playbook, and let's go ahead and execute this. Let me run in a verbose mode so that I can get more information what exactly is happening. Yeah, perfect. Let me get the passphrase. Creating a repo. HTTPD. Let's the finger be crossed because this is the most typical part because it need to copy from the repo file, which we did in the first half. Looks good. Copying HTML. This really looks good. So the total changes are four. What we need to do next is, if you try to, for example, suppose if I'm trying to access now 192.168.10, it was 103, right? site can't be reached because of firewall 
so what we will do is we'll do SSH to 192.168.0.103 server okay we will connect to the server and we'll again do the firewall we have to update the firewall here because what we have done till now is like we have just done all our jobs but the firewall is still blocking our HTTP so we will do firewalls D hyphen hyphen zone equal to P U B L I C public hyphen hyphen add S E R V S S service is equal to H T T P. Oh, is there something wrong? Let me close it. Firewall C M D looks good. P E R T zone is equal to public. Oh my bad, <laughs> I have given services. Okay. Invalid public zone. Why does it say says that? List hyphen all. Let me clear this. So let, let's execute our firewall command. We can see it says success and we'll again come to the site. It still says not accessible. I index dot HTML and I no connection is refused. Why the connection is refused? Let's reload this and remove this. Voila! So this shows our Apache services have been installed, our web page is copied and everything is done all together and the service were started properly. So this is a complete stuff for configuring our Ansible for Apache. If you have any confusions, anything, please leave down the comment or if anybody can help it out because I'm also not an expert to it, I'm also learning. So if anybody can help or if I can help, I'll definitely put a comment on that. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.